Hello everybody and welcome back to the show floor. It is Ignite 2019. I am hanging out with the CEO of Serverless 360. And what brings you guys down to Ignite? Hi. Uh, we got a product which sits on top of uh, Microsoft Azure. So what we are trying to, the problem what we are trying to address with Serverless 360 is right now the Azure management portal is way too complicated when it comes to support and people are a bit skeptical to give access uh, uh, to the support guys to the, the full management portal they're a bit worried like they can do things which are not uh, uh, not uh, relevant they might uh, do some harmful things and we are trying to solve that problem with uh, serverless 360 uh, the, the, the other important thing is like you know the, the, the azure portal is more technology focused it's not business focused we wanted to build a management solution that's more helpful for uh, end users to manage it from a business context rather than from a technical context. I think that's what we do as a, as a product in Serverless 360. Interesting. So then, is it who is your target customer? Is it, the, is it the developer? Is it the IT pro? Or who is the ideal client for somebody to run your platform? It's ideally focused on people who are on operations because uh, the way it works is, you know, you build a solution. You might have spent like uh, two, three or six months to build a solution. But if you look at the life of the solution will last for five years or 10 years, depending on, you know, like uh, how big it is. So somebody need to support it on a day-to-day -day basis, right? Like if things goes wrong, like, you know, something is broken, you know, so is things working fine. It's more of the support IT pros and support guys who run it on a day-to-day -day basis is our ideal customer uh, profile for Serverless 360. Gotcha. And then let's talk about scale. Are you are you targeting more of uh, the SMB, the corporate, the enterprise, or what, what size customers are typically running your product? I, I will say it uh, typically with the medium to large enterprises because that's where you get into the challenge of you know having a dedicated support guys and operations people. Uh, uh, I think that's that's where we will see the sweet spot. Like uh, the early startups, you know, they probably will be fine. Uh, they will uh, live with the Azure portal, but they, you know, once you go higher up, that's exactly when you started seeing all these things uh, falling apart, and you need a better solution to run your Azure serverless solutions on a day-to-day -day basis. Gotcha. So as somebody, how, let's talk about onboarding a new a new customer. So somebody comes to you and says, yes, I'm all in on Serverless 360 and they're a large customer, a large client. How do, how do they get onboarded to your product? We provide a couple of different options. We have a solution which is a pure play SaaS solution. People can come and then they can sign up and start using it with a zero touch uh, involvement from our side. If you know Azure, you know, you can just configure your service principles and start using your uh, solutions. For large enterprises, we also provide a private hosting options. So where, you know, like we have a completely free, like completely isolated tenant and, you know, like uh, there we, we provide our uh, uh, onboarding team, which get you on board and then, you know, like they walk you through the setup process. So we provide both options to the customers. Gotcha. And then how, how, what's your business model? How is the software or is your product licensed to the end user? Yeah, the, the product is a, is a priced on a subscription uh, basis. So for the SaaS product, it's like a monthly subscription. We got uh, three different tiers based on your usage. It typically goes up based on number of entities or how big your Azure footprint is. So if you have a lot of logic apps and a lot of functions and you need to manage all of them, the price uh, goes up. And the PH version, uh, it's based on, you know, like uh, the number of installations you wanted to use. Fantastic. One little anecdote about this interview is that this all happened because of Twitter. Your, your company reached out and said, hey, you're going to Ignite. Let's make this happen. So don't underestimate the Twitter, the power of Twitter, because this conversation would not be happening. But if people have more questions about what you're doing or want to get in touch, what's the best way to reach you? Well, there are multiple ways, you know, we are quite active on all social media channels. You know, if you look at Serverless 360, you can reach us on Twitter or uh, other social channels. And if you go to our website, we also have a dedicated contact us page or you can even just email support at serverless360.com as well. And uh, my name is Saravana Kumar. You know, I'm pretty active on uh, social channels. You know, I'm happy to, you know, answer any questions. You can reach out to me directly as well. 
Fantastic. And we will include links to your website down below. So that way, if you do have questions, you can go find that information. But we appreciate your time. It's a very busy Ignite with 24,000 of our closest friends. To everyone else, thanks for tuning in for another episode of Petri Dish. And we'll catch all of you right back here next time. Thank you very much.